Kardashian displays of the Kardashian sisters and I was like what is this all about? I went closer and I realized they had their own makeup line. That was completely new news to me because I didn't even know about it before I went to CVS. So their makeup line is called Chroma Beauty and it's called Courtney Kim Chloe Chroma Beauty and I purchased some of their goodies because I wanted to review them for you guys. I managed to purchase a pair of false lashes, gaze lashes, and then I also purchased the All Natural lip set and I also purchased two palettes. The Chroma Beauty Chloe Cardazzle Complete Face Palette and the Chroma Beauty Kim Cardazzle Complete Face Palette. The one that I'm missing is the Courtney one. I couldn't find it. All they had were Chloe and Kim at the CVS. I, I would not to. want anyone to kind of change my opinion on it. So I, on purpose, did not watch any reviews. So this is just based on my complete raw, honest opinion. So let's get started with the review. So starting off with the false lashes. This is the Chroma Beauty False Lashes in the Gaze Lashes design. And it is, for one pair, it is $6.49. So off the bat, the Chroma line, you can tell, is a little overpriced for a drugstore brand. And the False Lashes, I would say, the band is really thick and it's not easily bendable like some lashes. So I'm used to using Ardell lashes. And if you guys are familiar with Ardell lashes, the lashes are really easy to apply and to bend and the, the, the lash band is thinner. But this one is really thick and it is hard to kind of maneuver around and to bend. And it came with a lash glue, which was great. It's nice that they, you know, it came with a lash glue because a lot of lashes from the drugstores don't come with a lash glue. But for $6.49, they better have. <laughs> Anyhow, so when I put it on, it was really difficult to apply on. The lash glue didn't last and um, it was kind of coming off on the corners or the ends. And so I would say that I'm not really a fan of the lashes because they're uncomfortable. I'm wearing them right now and I can feel them. They're not comfortable as my favorite Ardell false lashes that I buy at the drugstore for much cheaper. So this is a product I don't recommend at all because it's just, it's not for me. It's stiff. It's, it's just not great. These lashes remind me of like those cheapy eBay lashes that you can get like a 10 pack for like $2, but they're seriously charging you $6.49 for one pair. So I don't think so. This is the product that I would not re recommend. So moving on to the lips. I purchased the Chroma Beauty All Natural Nude Lip Set. So it comes with a lip liner, a lipstick that's double-ended. And it also comes with a lip gloss. So the price for this set for both of these guys is... $15.49. So again, overpriced I think because it's a drugstore brand it should not cost that much. But I really do have to say that I like the lip liner a lot. The lip liner smells like vanilla and it's really creamy and I just I just think that it glides on so smoothly. The color payoff is fantastic. Definitely recommend it. And also the lipstick is the same. Really creamy formula really moisturizing. I really do like it. It has that vanilla scent again that kind kind of reminds me of the MAC, you know, the MAC lipsticks out there. So, I just adore this. But I I assume that the lip gloss would be the same, but the lip gloss smells really bad. It kind of has like this floral odd scent that I cannot describe, but I was really hoping it would smell like the vanilla like the lip liner and lipstick, but it didn't. And I think the formulation is fantastic. Just wish that they could change the scent. So as far as the formula, it's so creamy. Really great pigmentation for a lip gloss. If I was going to look for a lip gloss formulation, it would be this. It's really creamy, moisturizing, nice shine to it, but the scent of it is really bad. So I just wish they would change the smell. So that is that. And as far as the palettes, um, since I purchased two, I'm just going to go ahead and review one because they're pretty much the same. So the Chromo Beauty Kim Dazzle one is more of like a dark smoky eye palette. It has a lot of silvers, blues, and blacks. And then the one that I like the most is the Chloe one because it kind of has more of the colors that I like to wear on a regular basis, which are neutrals. And so the facial palette comes with eight eyeshadows. Four on the top are matte and four in the bottom are shimmer. Then it comes with two blushes and one highlighter right here. So these little guys, they cost 
$13.49. And off the bat, I would say that, you know, I honestly think that it's overpriced for a drugstore brand. And I'm going to call it a drugstore brand only because I bought it at CVS. And um, the packaging, I think, is really cheap made and cheaply looking to be honest because it's just plastic and they have like this snakeskin python design on it but it's just like a plastic sticker looking design on it it's nothing really special it's not really like a sturdy like type of plastic I don't know it's just not very classy looking to me in my opinion this is not some type of palette I would go hey I like it a lot you know and for the eyeshadows I would say that the matte shadows um, the pigmentation is terrible to be honest. The thing is, I have Wet n Wild eyeshadow called Creme Brulee and it's this new type of eyeshadow. That stuff is like creamy, it glides on, color payoff is fantastic. I tried this one on, it barely goes on my skin and it just is really chalky. I don't think it is a good color payoff and the colors look darker than when you apply it on your skin. Like like this brown, I thought that it would be like really dark on the crease but it didn't turn out as the color that I hoped it would on my lids. But as far as the shimmery shades, I think that the color payoff is better. There's better pigmentation with the shimmery shades. But when I apply it on with an eyeshadow brush, I find that it doesn't glide on nicely and it's the color payoff isn't great. But when I use my fingers, like I apply the eyeshadow with my fingers, it works better. So I was thinking, oh, that's probably why they didn't include a brush because as you can see, there's no brush included for the palette. And I'm thinking it's because they know that using your finger works better. <laughs> That's just my personal opinion. So overall, I think that the the eyeshadows could have been a lot better to be honest. I I'm not a fan of the shadows. I do I do have to say that if you use your fingers and you press the color on, the shimmery ones will will really be vibrant and bright and I tried it on all day yesterday and it lasted from morning till night and the vibrancy and the color payoff was still the same at night. So that's really great that it was long lasting. It just, you know, you have to work with your fingers instead of using a brush and sometimes people like to use brushes instead. And so that's that. As far as the blushes and the highlighter, I do have to say the highlighter, the color payoff is great. It goes on the skin nicely. You can see it, but the blushes are really chalky. When I like swatch it, it was really chalky. Like when I did this, it didn't glide on nicely. It was just chalky, not cute. And the colors are beautiful. I honestly have to say the colors are great. I just wish that it would show up on my skin. Cause I was like, I put it on and then I had to put more on and then I had to put way more on. I was like beating my face with a blush brush trying to get the color on and this is as much as I can get which you can see it's you know there's some color there but it took like 20 like 20 times of like putting it on <laughs> so I'm so disappointed in this this is not a good palette to be honest and so I reviewed pretty much everything so that's my opinion I hope that I did not insult you guys I you know this is just my opinion you guys might like it or you guys may not but this is just my opinion thank you so much for watching I love you guys so much if this video was helpful please like this video and if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe for more videos and by the way I have two giveaways going on at the moment I have a Miss KL two $500 gift card giveaways that's international and I'll include it in the description box as well as a Amazon Sephora gift card giveaway and it's also in the info box Love you, friends. See you in my next video. Bye. Hi, friends. I have an exciting Miss KL $1,000 gift card giveaway. I hope you stay tuned till the very end to find out how you can enter. In the meantime, here are some holiday outfit ideas. The very first outfit is a free people burgundy dress from Miss KL.